Hello and welcome to Forex.Academy, your number one website for Forex and crypto education and analysis. In today's edition we're going to discuss how to save a trade without a stop loss by the use of hedging. If you are relatively new to trading, you will no doubt understand what it is like to be in a losing trade and what it feels like losing money and seeing your profit and loss fall. It's uncomfortable. Unfortunately, this is all part of trading. Losing is a part of winning. The most important thing is that you win more money than you lose in order to sustain a profitable account. One of the biggest areas that new traders fall down in is a lack of understanding of leverage and a lack of understanding of money management and risk management. These are all subjects for another video. The biggest aspect where traders lose money is because of a lack of setting a reasonable stop loss in accordance with their account size and where quite often new traders will lose all of their money in their accounts on a single trade. This is purely down to poor risk management and not incorporating a tight enough stop loss. But what if you have been implementing strict money management and tight stops but simply forgot to put one on a trade which is running against you and where you are starting to worry? What are your options? Let's say that you identified a potential short trade for example on this one hour chart of the GBP USD pair where you noted areas of support and resistance in a wedge formation and thought that price action would pinch through a position A because the pair was overbought. The technical analysis is not important. So let's imagine that you have gone short in half a lot at 1.2939 and you forgot to put a stop loss for whatever reason and the pair is shot out of the wedge formation to the upside. What are your options now? You already know the answer to this option. Close the trade, take the loss, learn the lesson and move on. Another option would be to hedge the position, should your account size allow you to do so. This would mean that you simply buy half a lot the same size as your short trade as you have done here at position B. Another option would be to hedge the position, should your account size allow you to do so. This would mean that you simply buy half a lot, the same size as your short trade, as we have done here at position B at 1.3075. In which case you have two open positions in the same lot size which are effectively maintaining the losing position balance. However, this gives you an opportunity to have a think about your trade and consider other options to try and salvage some of your losing funds. The most important thing for any trader is to protect his or her profits and not how messy it might look with regard to winning and losing trades. If you feel the trade is running out of steam to the upside and about to reverse, you have the option of going short again at position B in this example, in a minimum of half a standard lot, and in the event that the trade falls back to 50% of the way to your original open position, you will have a net position, which you can either close both trades or let it run back down to the original opening trade at position A, where you will be in profit and manage that trade should it come lower. This might mean closing out trade A and letting the second B trade run out. Another option is to buy a standard lot at position B, in this scenario which is double your original size and will have the effect of reducing your loss to zero, and even turning into a profitable trade should it move higher to a point being approximately 50% higher than the total spread of your losing trade, less your original spread and commission. You then have the option, if and when the trade becomes net, to close out both trades, or just close out the losing trade from position A and then let B trade run on. Use a tight stop loss at the next position to protect your profit. All of these options are risky and with the exception of the original hedge require stop losses. Again, the most critical factor is the protection of your profits and quite often these options will help you out of a trading nightmare. Although this scenario was based on an original short trade going wrong, it applies to a long trade at any financial asset. If you enjoyed the video then please like and subscribe and leave a comment down below about anything you would like us to discuss in future or if you have any questions about this particular video. Have a great day.